Projective Geometry, Volume 1, by Oswald Biblin and John Wesley Young. Chapter 6, Algebra of Points and One-Dimensional Coordinate Systems. Section 52, The Abstract Concept of a Number System, Isomorphism. The relation of the foregoing discussion of the algebra of points on a line to the foundations of analysis must now be briefly considered. With the aid of the notion of a group, chiefly chapter 3, page 66, the general concept of a number system is described simply as follows. Definition. A set N of elements is said to form a number system provided two distinct operations, which we will denote by addition and multiplication respectively, exist and operate on pairs of elements of N under the following conditions. 1. The set N forms a group with respect to addition. 2. The set N forms a group with respect to multiplication, except that if I is the identity element of N with respect to addition, no inverse with respect to multiplication exists for I. If A is any element of N, A times I is equal to I times A is equal to I. Footnote. The identity element I in a number system is usually denoted by zero. 3. Any three elements A, B, C of N satisfy the relations A times the quantity B plus C is equal to the quantity A times B plus the quantity A times C, and the quantity B plus C times A is equal to the quantity B times A plus the quantity C times A. The elements of a number system are called numbers. The two operations, addition and multiplication, are called addition and multiplication, respectively. If a number system forms commutative groups with respect to both addition and multiplication, the numbers are said to form a field. Footnote. The class of all ordinary rational numbers forms a field, also the class of real numbers and the class of all integers reduced modulo p, where p is a prime number, etc. On the basis of this definition may be developed all the theory relating to the rational operations, i.e. addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division in a number system. The ordinary algebra of the rational operations applying to the set of ordinary rational or ordinary real or complex numbers is a special case of such a theory. The whole terminology of this algebra, insofar as it is definable in terms of the four rational operations, will in the future be assumed as defined. We shall not, therefore, stop to define such terms as reciprocal of a number, exponent, equation, satisfy, solution, root, etc. The element of a number system, represented by a letter as A, will be spoken of as the value of A. A letter which represents any one of a set of numbers is called a variable. Variables will usually be denoted by the last letters of the alphabet. Before applying the general definition above to our algebra of points on a line, it is desirable to introduce the notion of the abstract equivalence or isomorphism between two number systems. Definition if two number systems are such that a one-to-one -one reciprocal correspondence exists between the numbers of the two systems, such that to the sum of any two numbers of one system, there corresponds the sum of the two corresponding numbers of the other system, and that to the product of any two numbers of one, there corresponds the product of the corresponding numbers of the other. The two systems are said to be abstractly equivalent or simply isomorphic. Footnote. For the general idea of the isomorphism between groups, see Burnside's Theory of Groups, page 22. When two number systems are isomorphic, if any series of operations is performed on numbers of one system, and then the same series of operations is performed on the corresponding numbers of the other, the resulting numbers will correspond. Projective Geometry, Volume 1. This book was written by Oswald Bablin and John Wesley Young. 
It was published by Blaisdell Publishing Company, London, 1910, and is now in the public domain. It is read by Jim Renhold, with programming and illustration by Jim Renhold, 2019. Thank you for listening.